We've been getting a lot of questions about how we do the bases for the models we're showing in our Indomitus release series. So I put together a quick video to show you how we throw them together. We're going to start with Vallejo Thick Mud Acrylic, in this case Russian mud, but you can get it in all sorts of different colours. GW do a similar product with their texture paints. Using a synthetic brush, I apply a small amount of the basing texture paint to the base. If the model's already on there, obviously I try not to get it on the feet too much, but it doesn't overly matter. Then I wet the brush in some water and start to manipulate the product around. I don't want too much texture on the base. I think it can mess around with the scale of the model. So take your time to smooth it out. If you go at it with sort of dabbing motions, you can try and avoid any really obvious brush strokes. And you can thin it down loads with water, so you can get anything from an incredibly thick texture to barely anything there. I'd say this is a little bit heavier than I normally do on the bases. But if we have a look in profile, you see where we're at. Loads of companies do weathering powders or pigments, whatever you want to call them. You do tend to get what you pay for. You can always make them yourself by grinding down some pastels if you wanted. But you're going to want a selection of colours to get a nice looking base. One thing I've noticed is if you use a hairdryer to try and dry the basing paint, you end up with these sort of blisters the skin on the outside dries, but the paint on the inside isn't dry yet. I don't really like it. So if you can, just leave it to dry naturally. And if you don't go too thick on the base, it really doesn't take that long, maybe 20, 30 minutes. For all the bases so far on the Indomitus series, these are the pigments I've used. We want a dark, a mid, and a light tone. To begin with, I take the dark tone and I sprinkle this liberally all over the base. This is going to be the main colour on the base. Then I'm going to take a lighter tone, sprinkle slightly less on, try and get a slightly more even coverage than I've managed there. And then the brightest or lightest pigment, just a few little taps of this. Then with a dry brush, I'm just going to work all that pigment into the surface getting it into all the nooks and crannies. It's a good idea to pop a piece of paper underneath when you're doing this to catch all the excess. And don't sneeze. And tap off any of the extra. Don't need to do that too much. Now we take a fixative. In this case, I use Sansador thinner and just put a few drops and let it soak into the surface. You could use isopropyl alcohol, um, Tamiya Thinner, anything like that will work fine. I've dried it off with a hairdryer so it's evaporated all the solvent and it's left us with this lovely dusty finish. So to finish the base off it's time to paint the rim. And I'll either use the airbrush or a hairy brush, whichever tool's right for the job, to let me get a nice smooth finish. And that's the finished base. So you can see, for very little work, you get a pretty cool looking base. And it's perfectly durable for gaming. Your pigments are never going to be 100% sealed to the surface, but because there's not an excess of them, because you're not rubbing your fingers all over them, you'd be absolutely fine. You could give them a coat of varnish through the airbrush if you wanted, for a bit of added protection, but I don't bother personally. I thought I'd do a few more recipes just for a bit of fun, so here's what I did to create a sort of natural earth colour. This would look pretty cool with some grassy tufts and things like that on there. And then something for a Martian type surface. Pretty full on. 
Imagine sticking like a yellow army or something on there, it'd look pretty cool. That's how we've created the basis for most of these Indomitus videos. And to be honest, for the majority of our gaming armies, we do something similar, maybe with just a little bit more detail on there. It's easy and it's fun, and pigments certainly aren't something to be afraid of. So if you've enjoyed this short video, then hit the like button, and hit subscribe to make sure you don't miss out on any others. And we'll see you next time.